we go. Switch to... All righty. Hello from a chilly Western Cape in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm here with my cat, Slinky. Slinky Malinky, there she is. And my big book, The Tome. The Tome that started it all. All right, so today, excuse me, excuse me, out of the way, please, thank you. We're going to kick off with three little articles um, from 1895. Whew, that is 128 years ago. This was written, and I think you'll enjoy it. I find it quite fascinating. So let's get started. Here we go. Well, let me give you some background, actually. It's to do with advertising, marketing in the day, 1895, when things were still very new back then. And uh, advertising was just starting to have an impact on the population at large. Um, uh, so let's take it away. Slinky Malinky, lie down, please. Do something. Get comfortable. You are going in a good deal now for advertising art, an interviewer remarked to Dudley Hardy the other day. Yes, he replied, I am, and I don't see why I shouldn't either. It pays well, and without any court or highfalutin, I think you can educate the masses to a great extent by improving the art of the advertisement. By this means, you can make the streets the Royal Academy of the Masses. They appreciate good work as well as we do. After their fashion, to do these things effectively, I argue that you must have them as simple and flat as possible in outline and paint them so that they present a big, brilliant flash of colour that catches the eye in a moment. No background, just a flash of light and life as one flies by them in a cab or carriage. <laughs> in a carriage, can you imagine? A horse-drawn carriage. Yep, those were the times we were talking about. Okay. Stepping stones to success. Learn your business thoroughly. Keep at one thing in no ways, no wise change. Keep at one thing in no wise change. Always be in haste, but never in a hurry. Observe in all you do and undertake. Whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. True story. One today is worth two tomorrows. Be self-reliant. Do not take too much advice, but rather depend on yourself. Never fail to keep your appointments, nor to be punctual to the minute. Never be idle, but keep your hands or mind usefully employed, except when sleeping. Use charity with all. Be ever generous in thought and deed. Help others along life's thorny path. Make no haste to be rich. Remember that small and steady gains give competency and tranquility of mind. He that ascends a ladder must take the lowest round. All who are above were once below. I love that. Such sound advice. Hey, even still, to this day, Slinks. Couldn't be more pertinent, really. Um, and I feel so much of business has lost its ethics and its humanity. Thank you. I don't need a good cleaning. And this is, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. All right. Get comfy. Fortunes in Printer's Ink. Don't expect an advertisement to bear fruit in one night. Bread is the staff of human life and advertising is the staff of business. You can't eat enough in a week to last a year, and you can't advertise on that plan either. A thing worth doing is worth doing well. 
a thing worth advertising is worth advertising well. The enterprising advertiser proves that he understands how to buy because in advertising he knows how to sell. If you can arouse curiosity by an advertisement, it is a great point gained. The fair sex. <laughs> Sorry. The fair sex don't hold all the curiosity in the world. You've got to love that. People who advertise only once in three months forget that most folks cannot remember anything longer than about seven days. <laughs> Quitting advertising in dull times is like tearing out a dam because the water is low. Either plan will prevent good times from coming. Trying to do business without advertising is like winking at a pretty girl through a pair of goggles, green goggles. <laughs> you may never know, you may know what you're doing, but no one else does. <laughs> oh, listen, no, shh. It is a mistaken notion that a fine store in an eligible location, surrounded by attractive signs, is a superior advertisement. For the experience of most enterprising merchants is that it pays better to spend less in rent and more on advertising. Depends what business you're doing, I guess. Depends what business you're in. Listen. Fluff, cat. Enterprising people are beginning to learn the value of advertising the year round. The persistency of those who are not intimidated by the cry of dull times, but keep their names ever before the public, will surely place them on the right side in the end. A man's sign offers a mute invitation to those who pass his place of business. His circular can only reach those to whom personal attention is given. But his announcement in a newspaper goes into the highways and byways, finding customers and compelling them to consider his argument. But I hope you enjoyed that. From 1895, sound advice on business and advertising. <laughs>